Hi again, I'd like to continue the discussion of the To Do app. And uh, here I am at the end of the last example. And uh, this, you know, this is a simple app. So, you know, you click the, the test button here and, uh, and then the app shows a, you know, it uses the table view and it shows a list of items and you can add tap the plus button in the corner here to add a new item. So you can say new item and then hit save and then you get your new item on the list. So what I'd like to do in this tutorial is I'd like to add a swipe to delete action. So the idea is you'll swipe you know to the left and then it'll show a delete button and you'll be able to delete and that's built into table view and table view cells so we can just use that um, feature from the built-in Coco Touch library. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up View Controller. Now, View Controller is the View Controller file that runs this first view right here. Okay, so this view is the um, is using View Controller, and you can see it here. You can also like you know you know if you find a view and you find the View Controller here, you can hit this little arrow and it'll take you to the file. So that way you can be sure which file you're using, right? So here's my View Controller. And one of the features of table view is that, um, you know, when something happens at the table view, it sends a message to its delegate. So this file right here, view controller, is the table view delegate. Okay. So as the delegate, it's going to receive messages from the table view. So, you know, when the table view wants to do something, you know, if it wants to know like, hey, can you edit this cell or not, then it's going to ask the delegate if that's okay. All right. So um, I have this little mark set up here that says table view delegate method. So what I'll do is I'll put, um, I'll add a new one to the list here. So I'll start typing table view. And, you know, I don't want to type the whole thing because you could make a mistake. So what I want to do is I want to look through the list here and I want to find can edit row at index path. Okay. So I'm looking for table view can edit row at index path and this method returns a boolean and it says yes you can edit this row or no you can't edit this row and it gives you the index path of the row so it it's essentially you know when you load up a row it sends the index path to this method and this method returns a true or false saying that that row can be edited so you know if you had some rows that could be edited and some rows that that could not be edited, then you could put the logic for that in here and then return the answer. For us, all rows can be edited, so I'm just going to say return true. Okay, so that means all rows can be edited. Now, you know, if I'm to test this now, um, we'll see. Uh, let's build it again. Okay, there we go. So I'm testing now, and you can see it doesn't really let me edit the rows. Okay, so we need to do a little bit more work. So um, but the, we need this here, right? Okay, so the other thing we need to do is I'm going to type in table view. And what I want to do is I want to choose commit editing style. Okay, so commit editing style. Table view, commit editing style for UI table view cell. And then this method here gives us the, um, the editing style, okay, and the row for index path. Okay, so essentially um, it's telling us, it's asking us like table view is sending, the delegate method is sending this, you know, action to us and saying like, hey, you want to edit this row right here, you know, and it gives us the index path to tell us which row it is. And then it says, what style do you want to edit that row with? And there's a bunch of styles you can use. So let's try it. So we need to do a couple things here, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to find out what editing style the row is using. Like, I mean, the editing style is telling us, like, what's happening in the table view, okay? So I'm going to say editing style, and editing style comes from over here. It's a variable that's passed as an argument or a, a parameter to this function, right? So we're going to check that editing style against... Um, one of the existing editing styles. So I'll start typing table view and then I want um, table view cell editing style. Okay. And this um, property, it's an enum and 
it has a bunch of properties built into it, right? So the enum is kind of like a list of named values that we can use, right? You know, it's easier to say, you know, table view editing style delete rather than zero, one, two, right? You know, if, you know, these, these values are really just representative of states in the program that are just like numbers like zero, one, and two. So, you know, if we put a zero here, it would not be very obvious. But if I read out the words, UI table view cell editing style delete, then I, I kind of know what it is, right? So um, yeah, we want the delete style here. So I'm going to type out table view cell editing style dot delete. And then I'll put the curly braces in. And so if the editing style is delete, then we want to do two things. We want to delete the cell and we want to delete the item in the array that represents the data for that cell. Okay. So um, let's do that. So I'm going to say, let's delete the item from the array first. So I'll say array, remove at index. Okay, so I want to remove an item at an index, and then the index I want to remove is going to be index path dot row, right? And there's sort of a, you know, a, you know, like a parallel things going on here because in our um, cell for row at index path, we're getting the data for the cell at index path dot row, right? So when we remove the item index path dot row, then you know you can see that these are going to be the the same item, right? So that's going to remove the data from the array, but now we want to tell the table view to also remove the corresponding cell. So to do that, we'll say table view um, dot delete. And then I'll, I'll just start typing delete, and then I'll find it on the menu here. And what I want is I want delete rows at index paths. Okay, now this is a little subtle here because this deletes more than one row potentially. You can delete as many rows as you as you need, right? And so, and that kind of reads in here if you read it closely because it says delete rows with an S, that's plural, at index paths with an S, that's plural, right? So, um, so this is the one we want. And we have an index path here that we're committing the editing style for. There's one index path that, right, that it's supplying to us. So what I want to do is right here, I'm going to put an array. And so this says delete rows at index paths. And so it takes an array of index paths, right? So you got to have the square brackets here. So I'll put the square brackets in and say index path. And so that's going to be the index path that we're going to delete. And if there was more than one, we could put a comma and add a second one, right? And then it says with row animation. And this table row or table view row animation gives us an option to animate the effect of removing the row, right? So instead of just the row disappearing, like the table view will animate the row sliding off or fading out or something, right? And so what I'll do is, is when, I, when this comes up as a highlighted element, I'll just hit return so it types the name for me, UI table view row animation, right? And then again, this is an enum, and so it has some named values in it, and we can choose any one of these choices, you know, automatic, bottom, fade, left, right? Um, you know, right, middle. I'm going to just choose left, and that'll make the row slide to the left as it, as it leaves, okay? So we'll save all that, and then we'll give this a test. So here's my, my list here. Maybe foobar is not a great item, so I'll drag to the left. Oh, look, there's a delete button. And then, you know, if you click on another row, it'll, it'll go back to where it was, right? So I'll drag to the left again. And then when I tap on delete, you can see the row slides to the left and disappears, okay? And then if I add a new item here, new item, and uh, tap save, then my new item appears on the list and everybody's, you know, like they were before, right? Um, and there we go. So that's how you would use um, can edit row at index path, table view can edit row at index path, and table view commit editing style.